Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a wonderful day. I have missed you guys so much and remember I have missed you guys so much and welcome to episode 3 of Removing the Mask. I have been gone for two weeks and, and I'm going to tell you what's been happening these last two weeks. These last two weeks I have and I end up finding out that I had bronchitis and end up having to go on antibiotics for a while. And y'all, I just was so out of it. I wasn't filming. I wasn't even checking messages. He I would check a few here and there, but I wasn't really on social media and I did not post it on my community tab. I apologize for not telling you guys where I went. So I spent the last two weeks resting after finding out I had bronchitis and a trip to the emergency room and then also on March the 3rd was the 12th anniversary of my dad's death if you guys don't know I don't know if I've mentioned this here on my channel that three weeks before my 15th birthday my dad passed away from cirrhosis of the liver and this year made it 12 years and I that day was just hard and I'm like it's been 12 years and I was missing my dad I was sick I was missing my dad a lot of things were going on we had the week before we had a prior death in my family so a lot <laughs> has been happening so I kind of just like shut off the camera and took some time to get better and get back to what I love doing and what I love doing is having conversations with you guys but the past two weeks have just been rough I'm finally starting to feel a little bit better so I'm slowly but surely getting back into filming for you guys like there's no content that is ready like I had previous content ready for you guys that I literally had to scrap and I don't like scrapping content because I like to show you the real version of me sometimes I make mistakes sometimes I don't say things correctly but the footage that I had previously filmed something was going on with my camera the way I was making the film blurry or something but I fixed the issue but it was just weird that it was happening so I don't know but that's where I've been for the past two weeks and like the month of February I just kept feeling sick or something I would get checked out and everything was fine it was just allergies and asthma and then that turned into bronchitis so it was like the month of February I spent mostly in my bed <laughs> trying to figure out what was going on and then when bronchitis hit oh I spent a lot of time in my bed and all I did was read um, I read three different books. They were novels, so most of two of them had about 400 pages. And the other one was about a hundred and maybe 60 some pages. I read those in the month of February. They were a book series by Colleen Hoover. It was called, the first book was called Some, Someday Maybe. The second book was called Maybe Not. And the third book was called Maybe Now. And so that's what I was reading while I was gone. And in between times. I will be doing a full review on that series so stay tuned. 
I just wanted to come on here and give you guys a little bit of an update about where I've been and how content is gonna go. I'm going to try to get back in the swing of things. It's probably going to take me a minute because I have no content ready for you guys to go, but we'll work on it. And so in the between times, I'm going to try and fit some lives in there. So if you guys want me to do a live, let me know what you want me to do it on. If you have any questions about anything, just let me know and I'll be sure to answer them to the best of my abilities. But y'all, it is March. It is March. And you want to know what I love about March? March is just a wonderful time. One, because we're going in the spring. Two, March is my birthday month. Which means my birthday is on March the 30th. Yay, and I'll be 27. So, if you don't know me or know anything about me. Okay, I don't just celebrate my birthday one day. I celebrate my birthday the whole month. Don't ask me why. I've always been like this since I was a little girl. My birthday has always been the biggest thing ever. Because I celebrate the whole month. And I feel as though I should. For a lot of different reasons because I feel like I've come such a long way in my life just with everything I've had to deal with. My birthday has just always been special to me because if I look back over my life so far and think about all the obstacles I've had to overcome since the day I was born which if you watch my living with cerebral palsy video which I will link in the description of this video if you haven't seen that video. You would know a little bit about the beginning of my life. And that would explain a few things. And March is also Cerebral Palsy Awareness Month. And if you guys are new to my channel, I do have Cerebral Palsy. I've done different videos about Cerebral Palsy in my life. Last year for Cerebral Palsy Awareness Month, I interviewed my friend Eric. All four parts of that interview is on my channel. About three or four years ago now, I told you part of my story of living with cerebral palsy. And then, and then in 2020, I got a few of my friends together and we did a living with cerebral palsy live. That was so much fun. And a lot of my friends shared their different experiences and we talked about disabilities and we had other people that did not have cerebral palsy come up and share their disability as well so if you guys have any questions for me just leave them in the comment section and I will be sure to answer them this year for cerebral palsy awareness month I am going to be doing a story time about an experience that I had a few years ago I will tell you about that experience in a whole separate video and I hope you guys are doing well let me know what you've been up to let me know what I've been missing since I've been away know that I've missed you know that I missed you and all of those great things remember I'm always thinking of you remember I'm always thinking of you Sending my love and bye for now.